Hello, my name is Donetta and I am 42. I am a pastor's wife, a mother, and a Mimi. And I am going to tell you a little bit about what my outer layer consists of before we get in. So as Signorelli likes to say a lot that, you know, we need to um, start by telling um, usually the inner layer first until it goes to our um, storyboarding and all that stuff because then we kind of link it together. So um, straight out of high school, I went into healthcare and I did that for many, many years. I went from doing CNA work, which was backbreaking, into phlebotomy. And I did that for many years and went into management. I enjoyed it. And then I got sick. So I had to take a step back and my husband and I discussed it and we decided that, you know, it's better off for me to just stay home and focus on my health and getting myself better. So we started praying about it and God completely changed the direction of my life unique for me. So what makes it unique for me is I um, went completely opposite from what I was doing. Um, but I love to talk. I am a, always have been an outspoken person. So I think for me going for my master's degree in communications and um, social media management kind of goes with it. But my husband and I have been in ministry work um, for just about eight years now. And he recently resigned from his position of full-time pastor at the church that he was raised in been confirming that uh we should plant a church well we prayed and prayed and prayed and talked to people got wise counsel and um has flourished to the point that that's what we're gonna do you know signorelli says that we should find a quote that sticks out to us uh for our life and i love the quote we like to live by is that god does not call the qualified he qualifies the called and that has definitely been something significant in our life. He has shown us time and time again that that applies. And the scripture that is my life verse is Jeremiah 29, 11. And the synopsis of that is, um, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, to give you a hope in a future and to not harm you. And while, you know, God's ways are not our ways for sure. And I did not plan to get sick. I did not plan to have all of these autoimmune disorders to the point that I could not use my hands and do phlebotomy anymore, which is something that I thoroughly enjoyed. And I feel like that was my gift. That was my unique gift that God had given me. But then I started getting this desire for women's ministry and to be a light for women and to be something bold for women. And then we did our home setting. So outside of all the ministry and all that stuff, we're homesteaders. We have a farm and we have um, fresh meat and veggies and stuff that we can do. And when we um, decided a name, which was a process, we did Strong Tower, and we did that off of Proverbs 18.10. And we've also used that now for our, you know, our plant and everything for the church. So God has given us this unique, great opportunity, um, and it has become our unique story um, for us and for our ministry. And we are able to use that in ways that we would have never imagined on our own and to be that light in the darkness for people in a place and a refuge for those who are hurting. And I'm able to use all of my sicknesses and ailments and my past hurts from my childhood that could have easily taken me under, but instead God has used them to give me a testimony to use in this ministry that I can promise you when all I was going through all that, I would have never seen this happening. So again, God knew the plans that he had for me and he's using them. And um, 
that that's my UVP, you know, is my childhood was not a good one. Um, I mean, it was a good one, but I suffered things that I shouldn't have suffered. And then to be raped and have a child through that um, and keep her and have uh, wonderful and then have grandchildren and everything that I've been through, God has used individual steps to get me to where I am today, to prepare me for this ministry, you know, an abusive ex-husband and all this stuff. So that way I could appreciate the husband I have now, appreciate the ministry that he has given us. So, mind, and it makes you so excited to even imagine what your future is going to be. So anyways, there's a little bit of my testimony. And if you would like to know more about me and our ministry, you can go to www.strong-tower-ministries.com.